Knowledge requires three fundamental points. One, you must memorize knowledge. Two, you must study texts with scholars and students of knowledge. Three, you must read books on a regular basis. If you want to leave now and embark on these three points, you're going to be a solid student of knowledge. But if you want to listen to some in-depth advice from scholars and inspirational stories to understand how exactly these points are important, then stick with me. It will be beneficial, inshallah. First point, memorization. <laughs> is a fundamental part of attaining knowledge. Let's take a look at the life of Abu Huraira, one of the most knowledgeable companions. He didn't narrate 5k plus hadith while he was relaxing. The question now is what made him reach this level? The answer would be two main things, memorization and consistency. He was somebody who was consistent in accompanying Rasulullah and learning from him. These two things go hand in hand with each other. You can't memorize something today and not memorize for two weeks. You must constantly revise what you memorize or it's just a waste of time. Abu Huraira once said, Our brothers from the Muhajini were occupied with trading in the market, and our brothers from the Ansar were occupied with working in their properties. As for Abu Huraira, he stuck to Rasulullah and fed him with knowledge until he was full. He attended to matters they didn't attend to, consistency, and he memorized knowledge they didn't memorize, memorization. So why knowledge has to be memorized? The worst thing you can face is when you want to convince someone who is misguided or has some doubt. But you can't remember that verse you read or the hadith you listened to. Just imagine how bad it must be to look at that someone continuing to do what he was doing, not listening to you. You must have authentic Islamic evidence is ready, anywhere, anytime. You can be attached to your book or your iPad to convince people. The poet says, if you're not a conscious memorizer, the collection of books is of no benefit. Do you attend the sitting with ignorance and your knowledge is stored in the warehouse? Imam Ruzazali rahimahullah ta'ala one time he was robbed by bandits. They stole his boxes, thinking there was money inside. As they fled, he chased after them pleading, what's inside these boxes are my books that I traveled for, please give them back. The robbers stopped and one started laughing at him, saying, how can you claim to have known it? And when we took it from you, you knew nothing. But in the end, they took pity on him and returned his books. So al Fazari said, This is a man who Allah made him speak to give me guidance in my affair. So when I went back, I started working for three years until I memorized everything I learned and became in a position that if the road was cut off from me, I would not lose my knowledge. Okay, now we know the importance of memorization, so... What do we memorize first? Sheikh Salah bin Abdullah al Rasaymi once said, The first thing that you should start with is by memorizing the Quran. Make it firm first and also master it. Now the question is, why the Quran? Ibn Abd al Bar says something very powerful. Speaking knowledge is a matter of stages, ranks, and levels that should not be transgressed. Whoever goes beyond them has gone beyond the path of the Salaf. The first of knowledge is memorization of the Book of Allah and understanding it. And everything that helps in its understanding is obligatory to seek along with it. Akhi, to become serious individuals, we have to start memorizing the Quran, the root, the origin of all knowledge. Anyone can attend and watch lectures, but if is difficult, it requires a lot of time, energy, it will stress you out, you're gonna have headaches, but this is the real knowledge. Alright, Akhis, I have to pray us. Let's make a vlog. Allahumma hassan akhliyaqi kama hassan takhuluqi. The best camera ever. Let's go. Bismillah, salatu wassalam, I say Muhammad. Allahumma iftah liya baba rahmatika ya rabbi. Okay, now we know why and what we memorize. So let's go back to the remaining two points. Second point is we must study text with scholars and students of knowledge. So as a start, we can study Quran and Tafsir with them. The last point is we must read books regularly. Regularly. Reg on a regular basis. Yeah. Simply because real knowledge is found there and helps you with your grammar and your vocabulary. So for us, as beginners, we must read Tafsir and books on the meanings and vocabulary of course. This three points is applicable to every form of knowledge, such as hadith or fiqh. But at the beginning of our journey, we must start with Quran, as we know. So in the next video, inshallah, we will discuss how our relationship should be with the Quran. And of course, we will relate that to the three points formula. So how do we memorize? How do we benefit from scholars? And what books should we read exactly? Here we go. <laughs>